This episode is brought to you by Leo Bato and Associates, ang realtor na pato. Visit abbotteservices.com for fast medical transcription service. This podcast episode is brought to you by AB Music Creative. Sometimes it doesn't happen the way you want it to. Right. Yeah. Well, how would you react if you write a song, this is your expectation, you really don't like that song, you were just going through the motion of writing it to, to you know, just implement your discipline. You're, you're partial toward song B, and then all of a sudden, song A, which really wasn't in, in your frontal, became a, a huge song. I would have to, that's how good. that's how it happens yeah. they say most videos most things go viral on accident and but if that if that were to happen i woke up and it was viral or something <laughs> i wouldn't be mad i would sleep better knowing that i would i have no regrets about but then again the josh that wasn't part of the template that what is <laughs> ah interesting <laughs> mm. do, do you have a template when you when you when you create songs um no, actually, I think if anything, I'm trying to just do something different every time. So I, it's not it's not intro, verse, hook, nah. chorus, none of those. Nah, not really. I just, mm-hmm. I, I tr- if anything, I try to not think about that. Yeah, because yeah. I, I feel like I get so interesting stuck in like I have to have like this. I have to but have it, this. But, but isn't the underlick important? Isn't the hook important? Isn't the of course yeah the chorus important? Of course, it's important. But you know, I'm making like house music. Still, yeah. at some point, people are gonna have to raise their hands right. and raise the roof. <laughs> no, of course, yeah. It's a, it's a up and down, but you know, it's not. It doesn't have to be so rigid. I feel like, and right, I feel but like it has to go up. It does. Yeah, it it will go up. It will go when up. probably like thirty seconds. <laughs> See, that's what I. That's what I meant. There you go. Okay. There you go. Yeah. yeah. There you go. yeah. Ah, right. yeah. My man, right. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about you, structure? Because like. Like to Josh, it's like, no, what is? Like, no template, what is? How about you? So when I sit down to create, generally, I start with, uh, you need like a melody, not a melody, you need like rhythm, you need good chords. So I start with, I'm either on the keys or on the guitar. So, so you're more like, you're more a chords person first. For sure, yeah. Okay. I, I start with the, yeah. I think that lays the structure. You can kind of... So nice, so nice can, talking about music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real, I love this, yeah. The beat can kind of, you can dictate the pace and you can set the mood with the chords, you know what I mean? So... Start with the chords and then build from there. Generally, how about you? How about you? I <laughs> like hit me up when you created hit me up. You told me like you got the music from YouTube. I did. So wh- how did it speak? How did the music speak? Because you were you were, you were just clicking once. And, ah, that's the that's the beat. The the way that I make music is um so it all starts with the beat whether i make it or not right. whoever makes it eric makes it or if miles makes it it starts with the beat right so i have to be moved by the beat um from that point on i get behind the mic and i say what i feel and like i don't write anything down like i just punch in and it you at the end of the song it's so crazy to hear what comes of what you were thinking just have you have you punched him in oh, you've I, punched, I, him I in. punched him in. all the time Bond, all the time yeah. okay okay Oh, this is nice. It's like it's like you're working with Jay Z. You know how Jay Z works, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, Just press records. That's one of the inspirations. Yeah. I got it from um, Lil Wayne, who mm. he's a very he's, he's big inspired now. by <laughs> Jay Z. Yeah, yeah, he's a, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, but it's true. Yeah. So you've punched him in. Yeah, and I'm okay. So so. Talking no talking about that for sure. Even just with making my own music, seeing the way he does it is it's so inspiring. Just to see, and it makes you. I'm a competitive person, so, <laughs> yeah. and he. I don't know. He's yeah. the same way too. Like some know, of us come in, want to go right. Like some of us smiles come in with our Apple Notes, and it's right there. Let me just sing to it. So not you don't do any of those. You're like, okay, let me be inspired. Okay, Miles, punch me in. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, I'll even yeah. hum until I got. I, I'll know the melody. My melodies are not my problem usually, uh, humbly speaking. But <laughs> but um, then if I hum something, I'm like, okay, that's cool. Put words to it, and then boom, it's just there. It's ready to go. Okay, so you're moved by the beat. You start with chord progressions. Yeah. You, what do you start with? I actually want to like re-answer my question. I actually, it's interesting because I start making my beats with drums always. Always drums. Always drums. Mm, why? Interesting. interesting. I don't know. I don't know why. I think. But, it's but, you're, just, but you're not a drummer. No, I, but I think it's just like 
Well, I think A, it's habit, maybe. Explain. Like, I just always start with drums, so it's it's easier for me to build around, a like, a, a, a drum loop, I guess. What what do you use for drums? Just, so, uh, do you use software, hardware, or what do you use? Uh, no, I'm just taking, like, samples. I'm chopping samples together. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, Who's yeah. your favorite um, artist to rip? Mm. Like, rip their samples? Mm. Like, rip their beats to create oh. samples. Like, samples from Splice. Like, still one-shot samples. Oh, okay. Is that oh, what yeah. you have? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, like, one-shot samples. But when it comes to, like, actual, like, sampling melodies, I'll just go and, like, go on YouTube and just, like, scroll through random, like, I'll go to, like, vintage, you. vintage <laughs> playlists and YouTube MP3, you know? Yeah. But so, that's, you that's start with beats. Yeah. And then, like, growing up, were you always um, biased toward the drums? No. No, I think I was, I think at first, like at the very beginning when it comes to like making music, I think I was really into sound design at first. Mm. And then it kind of became like, how can I put these together to like make it sound like not mush? Let's go nerd stuff. Are mm. you into frequencies? Kind of. Uh, I don't know. How, so, how are we talking? Uh, we're talking like uh, placements, like instrument placements when it comes to laying them down. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to have Ooh, like a little that. chart. Yeah, I used to have a little chart. You know, you know what I'm talking about? The little yeah. spectral chart. I know exactly yeah. what he's talking. Oh, yeah, about. yeah. I gotta look that up sometimes and you know go by the numbers. But again, that too is like one of those things that I was trying. I was trying to hit earlier where I'm like, I got so in my way of like, I have to go by this chart. I have to yeah. go by this frequency. Snare has to be here. Kick has to be here. But like now, I'm trying to just break that and just. Are you more in tune with your ears now and with your gut? No. Yeah, definitely. My ears have gotten better, definitely. Like, I always try to, like, go back and look at what I did before, and I'm like, if it sounds bad, that's a good thing. You know, so that... bad is good? Well, if my old stuff sounds bad in comparison to what I'm doing now, that's a good sign, you know? So, and I feel like looking back, I'm like, okay, my ears have gotten better now because I would have turned <sighs> this up, I would have turned that down. Back then, I was so obsessed with having my snare on on this side on this side like like dude there was a time when i was so obsessed with panning my drums <laughs> like i was so obsessed with panning my drums bro i look back at my beats and like my hi-hats are on this side but and it's like thinking? it's distracting yeah i'm like bro they're going back and forth like oh my like, man but so now i'm just trying to break that mold you know but but it's still drums but still i kind of start with drums for us and it's interesting that we all kind of have a different starting point, right but we all m- kind of end up making the same song sometimes and it's nice it's nice that all three of you have different starting points can you imagine if all three of you started with the drums Mm-mm. nothing would come out of it it, it guys, would make me not want to do it right yeah. I, I like being able to do my own thing and create and not care what anybody says because yeah if it if it sounds good i mean what can people say you know mm.